that is going to be an increase in the minimum wage of um, people who are working here in Australia. Hello guys and welcome back to Eggman TV. Um, in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys why things I love about uh, Australia, things I love about working here, things I love about living here in Australia. And also, I'm going to be giving you guys breaking news. Breaking news, okay? So if you want to know what the breaking news is, just calm down, sit back and enjoy. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I know you guys are waiting for the breaking news, Abby, so let me just start with that. Now, the breaking news is that um, yesterday, the Australian government made a kind of, um, a, a, they did a press a release, kind of, and then they announced that there is going to be an increase in the minimum wage of um, people who are working here in Australia. So, like, currently, the minimum wage sits around, um, let's say, 21 point, um, I think three eight dollars yes so they have announced an increment of 5.75 percent so that means someone who was earning that minimum wage that's like what you can't be paid uh, below that's it you, you say you bad you bad you are earning 21.38 dollars so those people now they are going to be moved to 23 point um okay 23.23 dollars per hour yes per hour so that's it. <laughs> and it's going to start from 1st July. So me, I'm still reading. Let me see where the thing affects students so, so that I will know if, uh, you know, uh -huh, whether me I will get something sharp. But I'm not yet sure about that one, but let's see uh, what will happen from 1st of July. So um, to go into the things I really love about Australia, that is the first one, um, high pay. Like the minimum wage here is crazy. I mean, when you compare it to other countries, now, I'm not even talking about maybe the third world countries, no. I'm saying when you compare it to like the counterparts of um, Australia, maybe let's say maybe um, uh, Europe, some countries in Europe, um, some countries in um, Asia, you know, you see that the minimum wage here is very high. Like it's higher than most of these countries. Although the way you stay in is still the way you spend. Like the rent here is also a little bit higher, you know, stuff like that. But at least you earn and then you can now choose how to maybe live your life, where you live and stuff like that, you know. So you can know how to, you know, uh, 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 save and, you know, stuff like that, yeah. So um, that's the first thing that I really love about this place. Now, the second thing I really love about living and working here is um, the hybrid work culture. What this means is that... Um, here you must not go to the office every time no you must not you understand everything is all computerized and almost everything is online so you can easily work from home so this is not like you must come to the office every day you must always come to the office every day no 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 sometimes you just maybe when you wake up you feel like oh i don't want to go to the office today let me just stay let me just work from home today and it works you know like me I, don't, I think throughout last week, I just went to the office maybe once or twice, you know, and I've been working from home and, and I've been doing all my meetings, everything from home, and it works well for me. So the only thing that happens is that maybe if maybe in your place of work, there are some special softwares that you can't use outside the company Wi-Fi, what just happens is that you can use the VPN from home to connect to the office Wi-Fi and then you still do your work from, from home, you know, so it's like it works. It works so well. Like for example, if you are someone who has a child, or maybe you have some other extra extra things to be doing at home, you can be doing that and also be doing your work. Like it don't it doesn't really impact much on your work as long as you know how to discipline yourself, time management and stuff like that. It's no problem. So once in a while, you just go to the office, meet people, have coffee, stuff like that. Yeah, and you're good to go. Yeah. So another thing I really love about living and working here is that. You know, this is a, a, a multicultural society, that's what it's called. What this means is that you have people from a whole lot of places coming here, like people from Europe, people from South America, people from Asia, people from Africa. In fact, I, I think here you are going to meet everybody. If you want to eat uh, Asian food, you are going to eat it here. If you want to eat African food, you are going to eat it here. If you want to eat anything, because almost everybody is here. So it will also give you opportunity to make friends from almost everywhere in the world. You also learn new languages, you know, you also learn new cultures, you know, stuff like that. And the very, the, the very interesting thing here is that when people come, 
they, they come with their own culture like when, for example let me let me use nigerians when you see a nigerian dress you're gonna know this person is a, is a nigerian although sometimes uh, so anyway let me not just go there but most people come with their own cultures when you see a japanese you're gonna know if you see a chinese you're gonna know stuff like that so like the way they dress the food they eat everything so it just makes sense here yeah, you're gonna meet a whole lot of new people like a whole lot of people from different um, cultures different countries and stuff like that and you're gonna have chances to learn new languages if that's what you want yes so another thing i really love about this place is that the country is beautiful like it's very fine place very very fine like I haven't been to Sydney yet, too, but I, I, there, there was one picture I saw my friend sent to me. Man, the place was just so fine. So maybe I'm even, I actually even plan a trip to go to Sydney. But the thing is that where I am is also fine, though, but if you are doing PhD, <laughs> the most beautiful place you will see eh, is your lab and your laptop. Those are the beautiful places. It's not that you can't go and see other places, though, but I don't even know what's happening. I've been here three months and I haven't even gone anywhere. I should I should plan a trip sometime, yeah, but it's not easy. You just like every time you are so busy, you are so busy with research, you are so busy with meetings, you are so busy with experiments. Experiments are most times they are not working. <laughs> that is just a funny stuff, yeah, but it, it just shows that here yeah, you have to be very serious with your work, whatever it is you are doing. So most of these trips, like maybe traveling and stuff. Most times people do it during the holidays or when they have leave, you know, because no matter what's here, you can't slack. You have to be, you have to work very, very hard, you know. So like for me, I haven't been anywhere. I haven't traveled to anywhere. Even, I mean, I'm in Brisbane. I haven't even gone anywhere. I haven't even been to the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast is, a, is where we have another campus, but I haven't even been there because I'm always so, so, so busy. Yeah. So, but of course, maybe towards the holidays or maybe whenever I have leave or stuff, I can take that chance to maybe go see other places, go to Sydney, go to other places, just like to see the beauty. Because I, I know this place is really beautiful, but I just need, like one needs to make out time to go see all these stuff, you know? Yeah. So like another thing I also love about this place is that it's a very cool place to raise a family, you know? There is something about the place like <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Like it, 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 it's just everyone minds their business, you know. Nobody is coming to try to maybe force an idea on someone, you know. Like everyone just lives their own life, so it's a very big, it's a very good place to raise your family. And then um, like all this kind of maybe violence or maybe. Um, uh, theft and stuff like that you, do, you don't even hear about those things here because of the way the society is so like the place is so safe the place is so civil and stuff so like it's a very very good place to raise a family and the last thing i want to talk about is that this place is safe i know that there are always some bad eggs that will always want to commit crime once in a while but you really even see those people and you really even hear about those things like i was discussing about uh with this uh with my uh, dad the other time i was telling him i haven't even heard about accidents unlike you hear in most places maybe you hear oh that this uh, car hit this other car this one did this you don't hear you don't see because of the way everything is structured like you see the the traffic light you see everything pedestrian route everything and you have to obey all these things almost all the roads have their in fact all the roads have speed limit now like when you're coming to the school zone they will tell you you can't go more than 20 kilometer per hour nobody is watching you but if you go more than that when you get to the house you, you they will bring your this thing for you you pay fine for that even if you didn't hit anybody you think no one saw you but the camera will see you you understand so it's just everywhere you're just so safe you can even drive in the night like you can you can walk you can just come out and say oh you want to take a stroll by 1 1 p.m 1 a.m sorry sorry that's morning 1 a.m or 2 a.m anytime like you can just come out you can walk around you won't have the fear of oh maybe <laughs> someone will collect my phone <laughs> Those people, those people know, people who understand what I'm saying, they know what I'm saying. But Shada is just the truth. So it's a very beautiful place to be. So like, I want to encourage people, don't, don't just be going to maybe UK or US or Canada. You know, this place is also very cool. And it, it will be a very, very nice, like, when you come, you're really going to enjoy yourself, you know. Yeah. So um, unless you come to do a PhD, I don't even know whether you enjoy yourself. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.